G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran. Welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of Guitar Zero to Hero Song Tutorial. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Sugar Sugar by Baby Bash. Now, this is a really cool guitar riff, and the song's really simple because once you learn this riff, you just repeat it throughout the whole song. So there's not a lot to learn, but it is a fast finger-picking riff, so you might need to take it slowly and then work your way up to full speed. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step guitar. Now for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. The guitar I'm playing here is a Cole Clark Angel 2 in Blackwood with Elixir strings. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. Alright, so let's get to the main riff and we're going to start with an A minor chord. Now for our finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. They shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they're assigned to. There is one exception to this though and I'll get to that later. So we'll start by plucking the open 5th string and then we have 3 quick plucks which go 2nd string, 3rd string and 2nd string. But on the final 2nd string pluck, we're actually going to take our pinky finger and hammer on and pull off onto the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Now that's a really fast hammer off. And so far. And then we're going to end this A minor by plucking the 5th string again. And then lifting our ring finger and hitting the open 3rd string. So that's everything for the A minor. There's no pauses in between those last 5 plucks. So it'll go like this. The first pluck is the only one that sort of holds out for a bit longer. And then from this position, we're going to base our next chord around sort of an E minor. Now you don't necessarily need to put your index finger down onto the second fret of the fifth string if you don't want to. So now in this position, we'll pluck the fourth string, third, fourth, and we'll pluck the third again, but we'll take our ring finger and hammer on and pull off onto that second fret of the third string and then we'll end this E minor with the fourth string and third string again and in total for the first bar with our middle finger already on the second fret of the fourth string you keep that there your ring finger comes onto the third fret of the fifth string so this is a C major 7 chord shape now with this chord shape, this is the part where you can actually take your index finger and move it up to the fourth string. So now your index finger is plucking the fourth string here. We're gonna start by plucking the fifth string and then the fourth string. We go back to the bass note, which is the fifth string, and then we slide up to the fifth fret. So we'll slide that whole shape up two frets and pluck the fourth string and back to the fifth string. And in total. And then we go to an A5. And at this point in time, your index finger goes back to take care of the third string. So for this A5, you just take your index finger and bar it across the second fret of the fourth and third string. So we're going to start with the open fifth string. And then you're going to go third string back to the bass note and back to the third string but you're going to hammer on and pull off with your pinky finger onto the 4th fret. Like that. And it's a quick hammer on pull off. And then we end this bar with the bass note and then lift your index finger and hit the open 3rd string. That's fairly quick. So in total for the last A5. And total for that bar. And that's it for the whole riff. You're just gonna repeat that again and again. And in total, at a slow speed, this is what the riff sounds like. And you're just gonna loop that again and again, which sounds like this.
So make sure you do practice that slow and then work your way up to full speed because the full speed is quite quick. So now I'll be playing through a portion of the song with the backing track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice play along to and see how you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It would mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.